Hi everybody, it's Dara and it's nighttime with Dara. It's been a long time and so I'm really just, something told me to turn on the camera and talk about deep rest, resting deeply. Sleeping is part of wellness. So we talk about detoxification a lot, but how about rejuvenation? Um, regeneration and we get so busy in our lives we all know that I mean there's the kids to pick up there's the husband there's the boyfriend there's the job there's the exercise there's all the time that it takes to do self-care which if you lie in the sun and you make your juices and you get your raw food and all of this is um, hopefully in a natural and easy rhythm in life and every once in a while something really stressful might occur and our adrenals go into overdrive. And if our adrenals go into overdrive for a long period of time, it affects the cortisol that's being produced. And so we either ha are producing too much or too little. And when it comes time for us to really need our adrenaline or adrenals, then they're already tapped out and tired, which affects a lot of other hormones in our body. And the hormones are like, it's like the adrenals are like this big and the hormone such teeny amounts can affect everything, our whole lives. So one, I really want to encourage you to get tested, get blood tests to see where your vitamin and mineral levels are and your hormones are. That's really one thing. And the other thing is to, we kind of know when we're tapped out and the ways that I can see when that happens to me is um, I can see the look on my face. I just don't have that bright look of... Um, of uh, you know vibrancy and when little things start to bother us that's a good way to tell when the stress overload is so big that even the littlest things start to get us really really tense and so that is a good time to what I would call check out or in the winter hibernate or just call it rejuvenation um, if you cannot take a week somewhere, which many of us can't because we might have dogs and children and things that uh, need our attention, at the very least, try to take a full day of rest. And that means lying in bed reading. That means closing your eyes. That means falling asleep if you need to. And kind of unplugging from all the things we're normally plugged into. And even just a day or two can mean such a big difference. Like, let's say you take that day of rest and you have coconut water and green juices and you mix the two and you have mm, ginger drinks and you eat fruit and you really, um, you rest or maybe not even eat fruit if you're not into that. Whatever it is for you to lighten the digestive load and maybe have soups and smoothies um, and give your digestive tract a chance to rest, your mind a chance to rest and it will go a really long way. So one of the things that I do, in addition to unplugging and lying down and reading and only doing the things that need to be done, like walking the dogs and making sure there's food for the child, things like that, is I will always have a large brew of chaga. Okay, chaga mushroom is a mushroom grown in the Northwest, and I believe in Russia, and my friend Mitch brought me a huge bag of ground chaga, which is really nice because I brew it in my crock pot now and it can stay on for a couple of hours and it turns this tar dark coffee color and then I just strain out the little granules. He got this on Etsy. And so chaga is known to reduce stress. Uh, boost the immune system in no small terms, really boost the immune system, really combat societal stress and environmental stress. And also, chaga will help you where you need. It's dual directional, so just depending on how much you need it in one area, it kind of boosts you in that way. It's really a magical and medicinal mushroom. And so, chaga is something I like to have brewing which I do right now, and this is part of it in here. Uh, I made so many different, I used chaga, and I used dandy blend because I wanted it to taste like coffee, and 
a little bit of coconut oil. I have been not using any real stimulants, a little bit of cacao, but not much. No yerba mate like I normally do. Letting my body rest, no matcha, no yerba mate. And you kind of, when you stop doing those things, you're out. No barking. When you stop doing those things, your body just goes into like a, a natural letdown. And I think it's important for us to remove the stimulants as well and be prepared for the ultimate in tired. It's like a deep level tired. And so unless you're someone who doesn't partake in any of those things and, and more power to you, and then maybe you don't need this. But chaga's brewing. I also did horsetail. Horsetail, I, I just got in the mail from Frontier Farms, and it was in a silver bag like this. And horsetail is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Horsetail is really good for your kidneys, your kidneys and your bladder, uh, urinary tract infections. It acts as, there's a chemical in it that acts as a diuretic. So it's going to flush out things, uh, toxins through your urine. And I think that's a really nice thing to do if you're PMSing and you're feeling bloated or something, you know, you're just holding on to a lot of water. So right now I have chaga and horsetail brewing and I'm going to put it in here and this will be my sleepy time restful tonic. And stop, stop. See the, that kind of thing when your adrenals are tweaked and fatigued, the dog barking, things like that, like noises will affect you and you just, any little extra stress is like, you just don't want it. So when you get to that point, you probably don't even need to be diagnosed. You just need to have a rest. Pink roses help me. Okay. So now I am going to get the, okay. So now I'm back and I have my chaga horsetail brew and I'm just going to pour it from here. I have a strainer above my little carafe. It's as easy as, if you just have a regular crock pot, that's great too. Um, on the stove works too. Crock pot's nice for those of us who aren't used to cooking and forget and leave the pot on and burn pots. <laughs> so coconut oil is soothing to me, making it creamy. It's really, it's really so simple. Vanilla is another soothing thing. Scents are really important. I have my two bottles here from my friend Ami, Ami's Nectars. She sent me these beautiful antique bottles and they're filled with her gorgeous nectar that smell like angel. Ugh. Mm, beautiful scents, take a bath, Epsom salt, lie in the sun make tonics, put your feet on the earth, just lie down. I think that's the thing we're missing is we don't give ourselves permission to just be, you know, to just, can you weed out what isn't absolutely essential and give yourself a couple of days rest? Can you do that? Can you make arrangements to do that? That is the thing. And for people who say, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to make raw food. I don't have the time to prepare this. I don't have time. You might run out of time. I hate to be so blunt, but it's kind of like we need to give ourselves the time. It's as easy as that. Just a simple little brew. And... Ta-da. If I wanted to, if this wasn't hot enough, I could heat it up. Mm. But it's lovely. This has a little dandy blend in there, which dandy blend for those, for those of you who do not know, this is how I order dandy blend on Amazon. It's an instant herbal beverage with dandelion and um, roasted burdock. Did I say that right? Dandelion, no, dandelion and chicory. I'm sorry. Um, and it's gluten-free for those of you who are concerned about that, which I would be. Gluten causes inflammation. And I think that's it. That's what I wanted to say is rest up. 
Take a bath with coconut oil in the bath, lavender oils, order some nectars from Ami. I'll post the link below. Treat yourself. Shut off all, shut off all electronics at night. Really dim the lights. Live by candlelight, maybe a little reading light, and get under the covers. Get under the covers for longer, okay? So instead of get your greens on right now, get your covers on. And I'll see you guys really soon.